Open your I eyes. Don't know, that, that question sounds very confident and well for. Uh, well, here's the thing, though. I'm, I'm about substance and not style, man. Especially when I'm talking to fucking Discord humors. <laughs> Anyways, I'm, look, I'm I'm more passionate in real life, man. I'm like on Discord, like I already know what I'm getting into. The Coomer uh, is always the first one to say the word Coomer. Uh, okay, say whatever cope you want to say, buddy. Whatever cope. Hey, you're supposed to be See, explaining your dick. Come on, what are you doing? Stay on um, target. All right, I'm, I'm going to explain it now, okay? What if um, I believe God because the wind, the wind is God. Everything is God. I attribute that to God. Wait, the wind That's is God, everything is God. So therefore, the wind is God. Yes. The that means God, I'm God. The, Holy the shit, guys, Kanye was right. Last night's dinner is God. Um, everything Friday is, is God. of God. Every, yeah. Everything what? is of God. Yes, God. Uh, not Friday. I'm talking about in terms of like his creations. because Listen he here. The, uh, All I'm hearing is that Lord. Kanye was right. No, no, I know. I'm, look, I'm not. Look, I'm not here to prove your what dumbass. What but... is? I'm just telling you why a legit reason why God is real, and because uh, the Bible says, okay, if you look at the Bible, okay, that's the scripture. And so, in order for this to all to be true, you have to believe first, okay? The, what the Bible says uh, is true, no. and so that's the evidence. That and then, I uh, guess, and then how else? Then how else can it be real then? How in the world can no, I? No, can no, no. See relax, it? relax. Re reality is reality, okay. regardless of belief. That's that's not true. Okay. I agree, we're not I talking about reality. That. The Bible does not interfere with reality. The, first of all, the Bible never came to interfere with reality. The Bible is there to explain reality. It's yeah, I didn't say that. I'm just saying it. you said about believing, and then if you don't believe it isn't reality, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. That's okay. Part well, because uh, oh, if you don't, okay, if you don't believe, if you don't believe in it, well, then. Then I, I guess I don't know what to tell you, man. If you don't believe in it, you don't Santa believe in it. Is that it's how that like, works? Yeah, we stop yeah. believing in Santa Claus, and that's why he's not real. Man, I killed Santa Claus. Because isn't that, isn't the whole point of God just to you're supposed to believe in him? Because God says that he helped humans in the past. Now, the whole point of God is that you have to believe. Okay, and believe me. No, no, nobody. Believe. I, I, Honestly, I haven't got a problem. I haven't. I haven't got a problem with that. The problem I've got. Is you saying if you like it, if the belief somehow affects the reality of his existence or not? That is nonsense. Okay, maybe maybe, maybe let's not say that. Okay, but let's let's get off that because I think that separates from the main point I'm trying to make, anyways. So let's just forget that ever happened. Okay, let's just continue the main the main meat of it. The meat of it is that God is real. God is real. Okay, now he's real in in you believe in him. Believe, oh. If you believe in him, then he becomes real to you. Okay. Uh, real, not in real uh, is that he's not already there, but becomes he's real to you. More so real is if you realize he's there. So if you believe, that's the part about it. Believe when you believe, it'll become real for you. you he's like Harvey Dent in, in 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 the Dark Knight. <laughs> yeah, what, whatever you want to say, okay? Because you have to open your arms to God first. That and, so what and the first thing is believing. And what, what about other? What about other lens? About something you'll be mistaken about something. Like you know, I remember this time this one woman named Mary opened other limbs to God. You know? uh, <laughs> okay, well, like, it's something like that. But, like you're you're getting pretty close. Okay, I mean, I'm doing guys are doing really good. Okay, this is I'm expecting more. Um, I'm expecting less from you guys, but you guys are doing really good, so I think we're getting into it. See, you're expecting so you less from us. You have we're, to, we're over delivering. No, cool. no. We need, we need yeah, to lower our bar delivery. here. Okay? We need to conserve resources, people. Stop trying so hard. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yes. So you guys have to open your arms to God in order for Him to become real you, or Him to become, and you have to open your arms, pretty much like that. And that's the first step: is believing in Him and, and accepting that He died for your sins, and then He shall enter your heart. Why, wait, 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 why? Do you oh, you believe in heaven. So, arms are the gateway to the heart. Gotcha. So, yeah, so yes, you have your own arms, and you have to believe. That's the whole point of the Bible. You have to believe. There is no belief. Because, the thing about this way is that the, the mind, the human mind, okay, is naturally always wanting to see things real, even if you show a human one thing once, okay? And to do that again, yeah, he'll want to see if it's real, okay? God wants you, God right. wants you to believe. Let's believe everybody you believe in and then you'll believe it. Uh, okay. But God's not like everybody. God can't lie. 
It's not. Neither not can we. I can't. Um, we can't. And wait a second. Wait a second. God, why God why is can't, that? God is. Why can't God lie? Why can't he lie? Because God, because God is beyond the follies of humans. Yeah, but what about says follies that? of in God? In the whole Bible, in the whole, in the whole Bible, of it, in the whole Bible, God's described. In fact, humans were made in the likeness of God, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they were made as God. Okay. So in the likeness, it means how God would have pictured himself. He, okay. But God saw that humans were flawed, okay. The way he created, but okay. He didn't like what that they did. He saw that as a flaw, a fluke. And so that's how it was, okay. And so do God you, wants people think, to turn from their sin and turn in. Do you think that, you know Adam and Eve when they ate from the tree? Do you think that was inherently, do you think they were doing something evil? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, how? I think this is derailing from my point I'm trying to make to you. Before we go into that, I think this is uh, derailing. I'm just trying to prove to you that first thing is that, but if you open your arms to God, which is you believe and you accept your sins, you therefore went to your soul and you pivot with the Holy Spirit. No, that does that. Wait, wait, wait. That's it's actually it. really it's actually really important for that because if my belief is that the, the knowledge, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, like Adam and Eve ate from that. Now, it can't have been, in some sense, intrinsically evil for them to do that because they hadn't got the knowledge yet. So it doesn't really make sense. So therefore, sin can be just classified no. as disobeying. No, it's because wait, they wait, disobeyed. Wait, 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 wait. Therefore, sin can just be classified as disobeying God. Why is disobeying God inherently evil? The reason, the reason, the reason why it is, okay, it's because God, because God is the ruler, okay? God, God is king, and the, and the king rules his subjects in heaven, as it's described. In the oh, Bible. right, so kings are always correct. Oh, yes. So kings are, so the kings are wait, always wait, wait. morally no. right. Not, not, not kings, that's silly, but the king who made the humans, okay? The creator, okay? He says, I there created you in my likeness, okay? And so as thanks, okay, you shall worship me and you shall follow my laws. If you disobey it, that is treated as disrespectful. He brought you into this world. Okay? He created you. Give so another Why are you saying that? Like he asked you, all are kings always morally correct? And you said no. No, be, no because yeah, no, because the, the, he's a different kind of king. This is a the king. There's many kings that come over and rule the world, but none are like the God King in heaven. He's a different kind of king. He's a king that created you. He's the one who's brought the world in, brought in the food, as in described in the Bible. Everything, so that everything that humans moral. ever had. Is, not necessarily he's moral. I'm not saying God is moral, but what I am saying, though, is that in the Bible, okay, he created you, okay? And so if you turn on him and disobey his orders, his wishes, you turn to your... Oh, uh, after you, see, you like a demonic death see, demon. Yeah, okay. Also, another reason, another, another sin, too, that um, Adam... And he didn't wasn't just disobeying God, but the reason why God wanted them to stay away from the tree of knowledge, okay, okay, is because uh, what it would do for them humans, okay, because it turned into excessive lust, sin, other sins, pride, other things, uh, what the other other sins that uh that tree whatever knowledge contained, okay, and God did not want that for the humans, okay, because he saw these as sins. So when they did that and they disobeyed, okay, that allowed all those things to enter the world, and the humans were sinful now. So therefore, they got kicked out of the clubhouse. Got kicked out of the clubhouse of uh, heaven because uh, they pretty much not only they disobeyed him, but they also got sin into them. They disobeyed, which was the first sin, but they allowed a bunch of other sins to come into them. And pretty much, yeah. they they pretty much got pretty much their virginity token. Yeah. They pretty much got yeah. dirty by the sin. No. Uh, yeah, that's they that's how it's described in the Bible. Gained, yes. They gained. Ability to differentiate between good and evil. That's what they gain. No, oh, but the, no, but they, they also whatever, whatever. No, they also gained the ability. They also gained all those sins. They also gained all those sins. They, the crooked mind, the pride, the the lust, all those sins that God. No, that, no, it's, no, it's, no, it's, no, it's, no, They they gained the option to engage in different. You know, when you have the knowledge, you have the option to do either knowingly. I wouldn't say that it was inherently evil. Then why why did why did God punish them for for um for doing that? I mean, I guess it's because they disobeyed him. But if anything, that makes God look bad because it's just like he just punishes people because they disobey him. Yeah, you see, yeah, this um, was but also, yeah. 
that was watching Adam and Eve doing test acts in the. That's why as soon as they gain the ability to the difference between good and they start they covered themselves up. See, this God was making them it was oh it was like child abuse. He was taking advantage of innocence. So, you know, it doesn't talk about it, but we can remember like they probably were uh canonizing their young stuff and that's why the Bible like scrubbed out like any mention of children before they uh, took of yeah, the knowledge. Okay. okay, but anyways, the point point of this is that whatever the tree, the tree was corrupted them with good and evil, okay? So they had the ability to choose between both. And the thing about though is that evil kind of are roots, even if there is good, you can decide between the two. Humans were already good before, but having the ability to choose between good and evil added one option, added evil. Humans were already good, okay? Yeah, this option had the ability to do evil, and that would naturally evil naturally hurts good. No. Evil uh, is like a is a fucking like a thing that roots on good. And it added the life. ability to determine the difference between good and evil. Evil is already fucking there. No, uh, no, it was no, it wasn't um before no before this the humans were without the humans were without sin. They were as God created them, but when they disobeyed, evil. okay led to this led to different nations between them no they were, committing, they were committing sin they just did not fucking know it yeah because the uh, way um okay you describe a passage where this says this okay because they are saying this not quite they were mortal before, so they, they were probably dying mm -hmm. and you know because god the loving god he didn't want them to be of the tree of life how do you how do you know how do you know they were already committing sins they just didn't know that where's the proof in the bible that says that they committed sins that they didn't know there's a, there's a problem there's a problem here like so to me sin is the, the definition of sin to me is disobeying god now obviously they can't have been committing sin um if they're not um disobeying so the, the first sin was the first disobeying which was eating from the tree so i actually agree with david on this one they weren't committing sin because that's that's logically impossible. They were probably committing, like, see, it was the knowledge of good and evil. So they were doing, like, that's the that's the problem with theists. They want to believe in sin, right? and what there is, uh, they they there are good and bad acts in reality. But they'll say, no, no, there's just sin, and that's disobeying. Okay. I think we. I think we're distracting from it. Okay, we're not talking about what theists interpret. No, we're, we're just talking about the Bible. Wait, the point you're not seeing that um, the God, right? He can tell you a gratuitous act to do that's you can you can de define it as good. So he can say, "Go kill your son," right, Abraham? Oh, that's a good act. Go rape the girls in the field. Kids commit genocide. Oh, that's a good act. See, the theists like to pervert the, the natural order of things, good and evil, or good and bad, and redefine the terms as, like, sin and stuff, and, like, you know, so they, they can... Uh, okay. Can, yeah. I, can, I, can I just be straight? Can I be straight with you here with about God? Okay. God is not the candy man. He's not... Can, he's not there to help humans. Humans are there create humans okay which is his gift to humans create the world for humans to live in which is all these are all gifts of him and what he expects from the humans is that they worship him that they yeah. keep his name and, and yeah. obey his laws okay why, why should we do why should we do what god expects of us like he we didn't choose to be created there's a lot of suffering in the world he's responsible oh, he he's responsible because humans are responsible for the choices we make. God is responsible for the choices he makes. He chose to create humans. We didn't ask to be created. Why should I respect his his thing about he wants to be worshipped? Okay. Be, um, si simple. If you don't want to, if you want to enjoy the land of God, okay. Now, God, God won't remove you from the earth if you don't believe with him, okay. But if, say, you die, okay, then you won't enjoy the, uh, the, la heaven, the land of God. It's called heaven, pretty much, where you go after you die. So, that's what God's offering. He's saying, if you do this, to go there. If you don't do this, okay, you can still enjoy earth while you have it. When you die, okay, you leave this earth. And so which one do you want? God's giving you a choice. 
He's not forcing Sydney, down any room. You're you're misrepresenting the Bible, and that's oh, you want to like you know where are you how, getting? Wait, how amazing? am I how am I how am I misrepresenting the Bible? God said, if you do not confess to Him and you do not say you were sinful, then, then because you God, throughout the Bible, there's numerous examples on people on Earth, right? Um, numerous examples of what your your mic bugged out on. On how he'll mess with people on Earth, he doesn't say, just say. He 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 uh, makes promises that he'll cause people to cannibalize their children if they don't grovel fucking feet. Yeah. Oh yes. Okay. Um. Keep in mind, I'm not talking. You see, God did. Yes, he did a lot of other things before in the Bible time. Okay, which is in the Bible. Because he saw humans, but now, as of as of now, he made a he made what promise that he would not interfere with humans, and as far as we know, he's not done it. And so it 